Geologic Maps Part 2b Construction of a section through a geologic map showing an unconformity Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah The subject of this series deals with geologic maps In part 1, an overview of geologic maps and structural features will be presented in part 2, construction of geologic cross sections will be given. Four structural features have been considered simple dipping beds, a non conformity, a fold, and a fault. Construction of a geologic cross section through a map showing a non conformity. The adjacent figure depicts a hypothetical geological map with topographic contour lines. The map shows two sets of sedimentary rock units, A to C in the northern part and F to K in the southern part. The map scale is 1 to 2000 and the contour interval is 10 meters. It is required to find the strike through dip and to draw a cross section along the line XY. The length of the section line XY on the paper map is 21.4 centimeters. The line shown in red, which separates the two sets and along which the beds F, G, H and I truncated, is the trace of the unconformity on the ground surface. To find and draw the strike lines of the beds, mark the points of intersections between each of the contacts and the contour lines, the small circles in the figure. Join points of the same elevation for the same boundary by a straight line. Two different groups of strike lines will form. The red colored one of the northern set of beds A to C and the blue colored one of the southern set of strata F to K. Write near one end of each strike line the symbol of the contact surface and its elevation value. For each set, find the direction of decreasing values of two or more successive strike lines of one boundary. This will determine the direction of dip of that set. Erect an arrow perpendicular to one of the strike lines in the direction of dip for each set. Write three strike line values for each boundary. If three values are not available, then from the dip and the strike interval, deduce the required values of other strike lines. Extend one of the strike lines from each set to intersect an arrow of north direction and measure the angle. The strike of the northern set of beds is north 82 degrees west. The strike of the southern set is north 76 degrees east. The spacing on the map of the northern set of strike lines is 3.5 cm and of the southern set of strike lines is 1 cm. The value of true dip theta 1 of the northern set of beds may be determined from tangent theta 1 equals strike interval over spacing times scale. By substitution, one gets 10 over 3.5 times 1 over 20, which gives 0.143. Therefore, theta 1 equals 8.1 degrees northeast. The value of true dip theta 2 of the southern set of beds may be determined by substitution in the above equation. Tangent theta 2 equals 10 over 1 times 1 over 20, which gives 0.5. Therefore, theta 2 equals 26.6 degrees northwest. Superimpose an edge of a strip of paper on the section line XY and mark the locations of the points X and Y. Mark the intersection points between the line of section and each of the strike lines and write three strike line values for each boundary. Superimpose the edge of another strip of paper on the section line and mark the locations of the points X and Y and the intersection points between the section line and the topographic contour lines together with their elevation values. Superimpose a third edge of strip of paper on the section line and mark the locations of the points X and Y and the intersection points between the boundaries and the section line.
on an ordinary graph paper draw a line segment whose length equals that of the section xy erect two vertical lines from the two ends x and y the horizontal scale along xy will be same as that of the map let the vertical scale be 1 to 1000 put centimeter marks on the vertical lines 1 centimeter equals 10 meters put the strike line intersections strip of paper on the graph paper for each boundary erect vertical lines from its strike line marks with their heights corresponding to their elevations mark their ends then join them by a straight line which will represent the boundary whose values were projected starting from the boundary AB project upward each of the three intersection points AB 110, AB 100 and AB 90 according to their elevations mark their ends then connect them with a straight line that will represent the boundary AB repeat the above process for the other boundaries BC, CD, bottom of C followed by the boundaries FG, GH, HI, IJ and JK as shown in the following sequence of figures Put the edge of the second strip of paper on the section line and from each intersection point erect upward a vertical line whose height corresponds to its elevation value and mark its end. Superimpose the boundary intersection point strip of paper on the section line and from each boundary point erect upward a vertical line to cut the corresponding boundary. Connect the surface elevation points to draw the profile line and make any necessary modification to ensure that the profile line passes through each of the boundary intersection points. Extend the profile line from both sides towards both ends of the section. Erase all the contact lines that lie above the earth surface and any unnecessary vertical lines and points. Put the symbols, coloring and name of each bit as in the following set of figures and the section is done This is the end of part 2b. Next, part 2c, construction of a section through a map showing a fold with my compliments. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.